Hello everybody, how's it going today? Ready for some exciting Arduino work while we're home doing some e-learning? Can't wait to get back in the classroom and actually build with this stuff. So in this episode, we're going to play with a photo sensor. So go ahead and click create new circuit and let's jump right into grabbing an Arduino with a breadboard. And we're going to need some basic parts like always we're gonna need an LED go ahead and pick your favorite color I'm gonna stick with red this time um, and we're going to need a resistor and that resistor is going to be a 220 ohm resistor and throw that on oh I'm grabbing the wrong part go ahead and move that so that it's touching the cathode side of the um, LED and we've got it plugged right into the ground and go ahead and then grab the anode side and we're gonna plug this into pin number nine alright again in previous episodes we've got done the blink if you haven't done that yet please do that we've done the push button and now we're going to do a photo resistor photo resistor is like um like a solar panel you guys probably have on your lights that are outside and so when the sun goes down the light turns on uh, that's essentially what we're going to build here so let's grab a photo resistor and here we go right here i'm going to plug this into 16 it really doesn't matter where you plug it into as long as it's not vertically lined up with these uh, horizontally the way we're looking at it horizontally is totally fine so we're gonna go with this left side here terminal one I'm gonna plug this into ground I'm sorry no 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 don't plug it into ground that's plug that into power all right and then we're going to take our terminal 2 which is the right side of this photoresistor and we are going to plug this in going around the corner to analog pin analog pin out AO or A0 okay um, so the reason for that is so we're gonna get an analog because kinda as you cover this photoresistor let's see if I can oh, I can't let me simulate it so as you kind of cover it up, like you've got brighter, you've got darker, you've got brighter, you've got darker. It's kind of like, you know, when the sun's out in your yard and then when the sun is going down. So it doesn't, you know, the sun isn't digital. It doesn't automatically turn off. So it gets a little bit dimmer. Okay. We need, so it wasn't working in that simulation because we need to add a resistor. Um, and if I remember right, we need a 4.5. 7 kilo ohm resistor and I'm going to rotate that so that I can also plug that into this right side here and um, so that's plugged into terminal 2 and then this side of the resistor I'm going to um, plug into the ground all right so everything's powered and grounded both the photoresistor and the LED now we've got to dig into the code so let's dig into the code. It always gives you this blink. Throw that out. All right. What we're going to do first is we need to create a variable. And our variable, I'm going to call photo sensor instead of photo resistor sensor. Just kind of shorten it up there. And let's set the photo resistor sensor to, and let's add an input and read analog pin a0 so if it didn't automatically grab your a0 um, it usually defaulted because that's the first analog but if it didn't you might have to click the down arrow and find a0 there and we want then it to output and um, let's see print to our serial monitor and hello world yes that is what you do when you very first make uh, you know your computer do anything you have to say hello world or code it we're a little bit farther than that so let's get it to print 
um, our variable, so our photo sensor right there, with a new line. And then we're going to get an output, and this is where we're going to get it to actually output something. So we want to set pin, uh, set pin nine to. All right, mine said mine defaulted to three. Um, I want to move this down to nine because that's where we are plugged into. If you happen to be plugged into anything else, make sure that you change that. And we want it to output to our photoresistor. But before we do that, if we would just do that, it wouldn't quite work because we got to jump into our math a little bit. Because LEDs work from 0 to 255. So we want to map a range of our photoresistor. So I'm going to put that photoresistor right in there. Map our photoresistor to range 0 to 255. And we're almost done. Uh, one quick thing, if you've never done this before, is you want to kind of like add a delay. And the delay can be really small. I'm going to make it like 0 0.01. And then we're going to simply hit Start. So as you can see, this photoresistor is working when the light is bright, it turns on, okay? And so what you could do is you're like, wait a second, I want when the sun goes down, I want the light to get brighter. So a quick way to fix that is to reverse your photoresistor, right? So we could get in the code and we could reverse it in a code or we could reverse it with the wires. So if I change this right here to my ground and I flip this to my power, now once I start my resistor and I turn it on, when the sun's out, the light's pretty dim. When the sun goes down, it gets quite a bit brighter. And there you go. You've got your outside um, lamp that's probably in you know the front of your yard or on the front of your house. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment below or post on our Google Classroom or our um, learning management system. All right, have a good one.